Hi everyone, my name is Vicky Riley and I'm Lead User Researcher on the Digital Skills team. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about creating accessible products and services for our colleagues at Co-op. The Digital Skills team are a small team of designers and delivery managers and we're responsible for creating resources that enable colleagues across the Co-op to work more effectively together. In the past, we've also run workshops and coached colleagues on their journey to working in a more agile way. Here's an example of the type of materials that the digital skills team have been working on and researching with this year. This is the Ways of Working website and it's a place for colleagues to find out how to get started with agile ways of working. The team are currently designing a set of guidelines to help teams to set up collaborative ways of working. Here you can see the vision and goals activity on the Ways of Working website, which includes step-by-step -step guidance and case studies to help colleagues understand how this could work for them. We've been observing three teams in technology using the team guidelines, and this is to find out whether they're understandable and whether they're usable without additional guidance from a coach. As user researcher on the digital skills team, it's my job to work with the team to understand who our users are and what they need to make sure that we're working on the right thing and that we're designing and building it in the right way. On this project, all of our users are co-op colleagues who want to learn about and adopt agile ways of working, so a very specific group of users. Nearly all the colleagues and teams that we work with get in touch with us via word of mouth and the research that we do changes almost every month. So we'll go from researching and testing new workshop formats to usability testing a prototype on screen or a year ago, as you can see from these photos, uh, paper prototype testing with colleagues in One Angel Square. We know from previous research that there's a strong desire across co-op to work in a different way but colleagues often don't know where to start and they can face lots of barriers, including lack of time and sometimes lack of permission from leaders. We use lots of different techniques to understand the colleague needs and to test different ways of working with colleagues to help them embrace new ways of working. Here's an example of a survey that we used to benchmark colleagues understanding before and after a workshop that we ran. Following the launch of the accessibility policy back in August 2020, all researchers and designers made the commitment to carry out research with at least one in five participants who has a known access need. And at that point, the digital skills team were faced with the following question. How might we ensure that all of our workshops, coaching techniques and resources are accessible to all colleagues? And the answer might seem obvious, of course, we should be including colleagues in all of our research who have a disability. However, we were unable to identify colleagues who, who do have a disability, who were willing to take part in our research and who were relevant to the research at that point in time. As I already mentioned, we're researching with very specific groups of users, um, small teams who approach us for help. Uh, so it was really frustrating for us that we couldn't involve um, colleagues who have a disability in all of our research. When I say relevant to the research, I mean colleagues who wanted to learn about and adopt new ways of working, particularly agile ways of working at that point in time. For me, that meant that it just wasn't possible to recruit people via an agency and do some general accessibility testing. We really need to ensure that the resources that we create are accessible and understandable to all colleagues who work at the co-op, the same set of colleagues who face the barriers that we've uncovered time and again in previous research. So after spending some time with Dave Cunningham and speaking to Natalie, Eric and Carly from Represent, I decided to trial the creation of the Co-op Colleague Accessibility Research Panel. Essentially, the idea is to build a panel of colleagues to be involved in research and design so that we can make sure that all colleagues can access our digital services and products so that we can consider digital accessibility at every stage and then constantly review and improve everything that we build and develop. So co-op colleagues who are living with a disability condition or illness are now able to express an interest in getting involved in our research and design via a Microsoft form. 
Here's just a little screenshot of the types of questions that you'd be asked. Being a colleague accessibility tester involves things like giving feedback on your experiences of using products or services. Um, it could involve reviewing designs to give your opinion on how we could improve them. It's completely up to you as a research participant how much you want to get involved and how much time you want to spend with us. We're grateful for any time at all. Uh, as it stands, we've shared the form with co-op colleagues in technology and more widely across some Yammer channels. Um, so far, 14 colleagues who work across food stores, funeral homes, in the support centre and as member pioneers have signed up, which is brilliant. And they all have a really wide range of disabilities and illnesses that impact the way they might interact with digital products and services. We're still on the lookout for new panel members um, to get involved in the research and design of colleague facing products and services. So if this is something that you'd be interested in, please um, do complete the form or get in touch with me and we can talk about it in a little bit more detail. If you have any ideas about how to involve more colleagues who have disabilities in our research, or you're just interested in the work the digital skills team have been doing, please do get in touch. And here's a link to the Ways of Working website if you're interested. Thanks very much for listening and enjoy the rest of the conference.